we have a new category leader. The ASUS ePad Transformer Prime is the new Android tablet to beat. At $499, this reasonably priced tablet is the very first to feature NVIDIA's Tegra 3 quad-core CPU. It's also one of the best looking tablets we've seen and has one of the brightest screens around. Let's take a look at our new champion. So taking a look at the sides here, we've got the world's tiniest power button, which we wish were bigger. Over here we've got the volume rocker and we've got a micro HDMI out. On the bottom we have a proprietary docking port, which uh, the system comes with a wire that goes to uh, USB for charging. Uh, and over here we've got our 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, what we don't have on here is a card reader or a full-size USB port. Uh, those will come with the dock, uh, which is really quite excellent in its own right. Uh, so the system is one of the brightest we've seen because it has a 600 nit display. Uh, tapping on the settings here, we can actually set this uh, to Super IPS Plus, which is 600 nits for outdoor reading, or tapping it off, we're at 300 nits. Uh, either way, it's one of the brightest we've seen, really wide viewing angles, excellent, um, and we recommend not keeping it 600 nit for too long because you want to have good battery life. So as you can see here, this game here, this glow ball demo, has really accurate physics on it. You've got a ball that kind of follows the accelerometer here, and what you see are a lot of light shadows rendering uh, on the edges around here. You see this cloth here, which can actually billow with the wind here, or with the air. So, uh, you know, really great effects. And if you take this game and try it on another tablet, uh, basically it's slideshow-like, and you don't get the richness here. You can't even see the clown's evil head. So. That's one example of what you can do with the quad-core processor. Another great example of what you can do with a quad-core processor is, um, with Fota is using Fotaf Lite, which is a panoramic image software. Uh, what you can do with this is you can actually create a panorama of a room and it will stitch your panorama together very, very quickly. So you can very quickly stitch something into a panorama that really shows 360 degrees of a scene and it will complete this task even going a full 360 degrees in about you know 15 seconds uh, which is really fantastic and that's thanks to the power of the Tegra 3 processor. So ASUS doesn't include a lot of apps on the ePad Transformer Prime. Uh, we uh, you know have a few on here but really the ones that ASUS includes are App Backup, App Locker, uh, it's at Vibe Music Store, it's uh, Bookstore, um, and of course it's cloud storage. Our personal favorite is AppLocker because what AppLocker does is that it allows you to password protect any apps you want. So you'll see this little lock next to Kindle. Let's say we had a, a child and we handed this to them, we don't want them reading all of our books. Well, once they tap on Kindle, they're gonna be hit with this password challenge. And if they don't know the password, they can't get in. And you could do this with all of your apps, any of your apps, the browser, uh, making this one of the most child safe browsers, child safe tablets that we've ever used. And even if you go into Task Killer and kill the app locker, it comes back again like some kind of a zombie. And so, uh, you know, your kids are really protected um, from the evils of the internet and even from themselves uh, with this tablet. Um, besides that, uh, obviously they include Polaris Office, which is great for reading, your, reading and editing Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents. Uh, and of course, uh, ASUS gives you, um, gives you five gigabytes of web storage. The other great thing about the e ASUS ePad Transformer Prime, of course, is its ability to transform. So for $149, you can buy the Transformers keyboard dock. Uh, and this is much improved over the previous generation uh, EPAD Transformer dock and is only compatible with the new Transformer Prime, not with the old uh, Transformer TF-101 that some people bought in the spring. Uh, you'll notice it too is made out of beautiful brushed aluminum here. It's got a wonderful touchpad. The keys are extremely responsive, great tactile feel, and it's so easy to go and actually pop your tablet right in this is extremely secure, doesn't come out uh, in, unless you slide uh, the unlock button here and you can close up and you've got basically an Android notebook uh, that you can use. 
Obviously, when it's attached, the keyboard uh, allows you to do all of your typing. So if you want to edit a document, uh, you'll want this keyboard because then you can go and create a Word doc and start, and start typing. And you can see that the keyboard also has dedicated keys for home, menu, search, and back, where the escape key would be on a Windows keyboard. And so uh, you can pretty much navigate your way around without touching the screen, although the touchpad does not support multi-touch gestures, so you, if you want to zoom in and out, you'll have to pinch the screen still. Uh, but we find this is a really, really nice attachment, particularly if you're going to be using your notebook, you, particularly if you're going to be using your tablet like a notebook and doing lots of document editing. In addition to the actual keyboard, there's a battery in here. And so uh, this gives you supposedly another several hours of battery life um, when attached. You can see on the side of the dock here is the docking port for connecting to a power outlet and charging. Um, if we go around the side here, we will also see a full-size USB port you can use to connect your thumb drive or an external hard drive and a full-size SD card reader that you can use to read your memory cards from your camera. So um, that really makes this much more of a full-functioning Android notebook, if you will, uh, than just a tablet. So here's what we like about the ASUS ePad Transformer Prime. Obviously, the quad-core Tegra 3 processor gives the Prime the fastest performance that we've seen on any Android tablet or any tablet overall. The slim, lightweight design is absolutely gorgeous, thin, and, and really one of the best looking tablets that we've ever seen. We, we love the keyboard dock, which provides the best typing experience and wonderful expansion ports and additional battery life. And we obviously are quite enamored with the 600 IPS screen, which makes outdoor reading a bit easier and uh, indoor reading a lot um, brighter, more colorful, great viewing angles. So what don't we like about the ePad Transformer Prime? The battery life is decent, but not fantastic at seven hours and 46 minutes. Uh, the sound is, kind of, is quite poor uh, from the single speaker in the back. Uh, it is loud enough to hear, but um, really not rich at all. You'll, you'll want to bring your headphones. Uh, like all other Honeycomb tablets on the market, it doesn't have a lot of dedicated apps available for it, uh, but there is a growing selection of games and apps that are optimized for a screen this size. Uh, and of course, uh, like other Honeycomb tablets, the um, video chat options are not great. Uh, Google Talk, uh, even with a quad-core processor, uh, was blocky and terrible even over really fast internet connection. Uh, but overall, uh, we think that the ePad Transformer Prime is the new Android tablet to get. Uh, obviously, if you're a person who likes the in increased number of apps that are available uh, with an iPad 2, you'll still be interested in that. Uh, and if you want to take notes with a pen, the ThinkPad tablet is still uh, the leader there. But uh, amongst Android tablets that are great for media consumption, gaming, and even productivity with the keyboard, uh, the e ASUS ePad Transformer Prime is, the main, is your best choice. It's prime time, baby.